Now at five, the verdict watch is on. The jury now deciding the fate of the teenager who killed his teacher at Danvers High. Two T workers honored for stopping that runaway train, but how will the man who triggered the incident be punished? Well, this December, certainly a different tune. Even getting closer to Christmas, baby, it's warm outside. And the turkeys that are giving one mailman on the Cape a whole lot of trouble. We begin tonight with breaking news in the Philip Chisholm trial. A jury now has the case against the teenager who is facing murder charges for killing his teacher. The jury just got the case this afternoon. They have gone home for the day, but we'll be back at it tomorrow. The jurors must decide whether Philip Chisholm was sane when he killed his teacher, Colleen Ritzer. Let's get right out to our Christina Hager, who has been in court since day one. Christina. And Liam, now the wait. Jurors have been deliberating for a little more than three hours, and they have their work cut out for them. They have 140 exhibits of evidence in the room with them and a list of charges to work their way through. It's a low-tech way to whittle down the jury. Numbers from an old-fashioned wooden container to select alternates, leaving 16-year-old Philip Chisholm's fate in the hands of four women and eight men. Philip Chisholm, a kind, smart 14-year-old, commit, committed these terrible acts when he was in the throes of a serious mental illness. Chisholm's defense attorney, Denise Regan, not even disputing he raped and killed his 24-year-old math teacher, Colleen Ritzer, when he was in the throes of psychosis, set off by the stress of moving. He was a 14-year-old freshman boy going to a school where he knew no one. Prosecutor Kate McDougall returned to her very best evidence, replaying the indisputable surveillance of Chisholm stalking Ritzer after school. She also displayed the box cutter used to repeatedly slit Ritzer's throat. Chisholm appearing at attention, Ritzer's mother with her head hanging. There is not one single person in this courtroom who wants to believe that a 14-year-old boy could have done this and not be crazy. But doing something so awful does not make you crazy. Uh, this is the jury verdict slip. It's a little more complicated than one might realize. A list of four different charges, but then under each one, several different options and criteria as jurors consider the charges of murder, two charges of rape, and armed robbery. These jurors are back at it tomorrow morning. In Salem, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Liam, Lisa, back to you. Christina, thank you.